Hey guys, for this video I'll show you how to prepare your 3 model for perfect printing and this works with any model. This will be typically for any articulated flexies and I'll be doing it on my flexi that I made around a couple weeks ago. I just want to let you guys know that this will mostly be for Nomad and I'll show you how to do a print profile for any slicers but I'll be using Bamboo Lab Studio for this one. Starting with number one, check for any colliding faces like this, which can result in a bad print. Most slicers will let you know before you print it, but if it doesn't, it's just not going to be good. And if you have this problem, just use a voxel tool and smooth it out with the brush and it should be fixed. Number two, reduce polygon count. Here on top, you have 2.5 million scenes vertical. People don't like large file and it takes long to slice and download. To fix it, you can either use Decimate, but I preferably use a voxel tool. It's easier and you're able to see how low of a quality you want to put it down to. And then you press Remesh. This reduces useless triangles and you won't be able to see the difference when it's printed anyways. As you can see on top right, it only has 75,000 verticals and the model still looks pretty good. For number three, adjust joints and articulated models. If you don't make any articulated models, you can skip to number four. So make sure you have a good spacing between each part and make sure they don't touch each other. If I click separate and then click on this part, use x-ray, make sure you check if it's touching any parts of the other side. And then here you can see a dark spot that shows that it's touching. If anything happens and you save it and then close the app, while it's voxel together, it will be very difficult to fix and get them separated. Number four, check for your overhangs. In 3D printing, try to have fewer overhangs, meaning less supports. It will save time and hassle to remove them. In some cases, it will be small and harder to remove. So aim to keep your overhangs between 30 to 45 degrees. In my case, the overhang is a little steep here, but for articulated flexies, make sure you, the design doesn't need supports under the articulated joints, otherwise it will be a pain to remove them. And a little heads up, if you plan to offer the model for download, Print and place designs are much preferred. They make printing easier and save users the hassle of removing lots of supports. Number five, exporting your model. Now I'll show you how to export your model. First, click on the folder icon, then choose between object or STL. Both formats are compatible with most slicers. For this example, I'll select the STL and then press export. You can use any method to transfer the file like AirDrop from MacBook, but I'll use the Google Drive. Once uploaded, I'll download it to my computer, which I'll show you in a moment, and then after that, I'll explain the print profile settings you should use for the best result. Now that I'm back on my computer, I'm in the Google Drive. Before you start printing, make sure the bottom of your model is flat. This will ensure good bed adhesion. And then here, I'll retrieve my file, click on the three dots next to the file, and then select download. Once it's downloaded, open your slicer. I'm using Bamboo Lab Studio for this demo, but you can use any slicers. Click here to open a files folder and select your model. You can scale it up or down if you needed. And that's the basic process to importing your model into your slicer. Number six, print settings. Let's start with the quality settings. For the layer height, I like to keep it around 0.14 to 0.2 millimeter. And for the initial layer, somewhere between 0.1 to 0.16 millimeter. When it comes to the wall thickness, this will depend on the nozzle size. I typically use a 0.2 millimeter or a 0.4 nozzle. As for the seam placement, that's entirely up to you. You can place it in the back or wherever works best for your model. And that's going to be everything for the quality settings. Now let's move on to the strength settings. For the wall loops, I use two to four walls depending on how strong I want the model. For the top and bottom shell, I go with five top layers and three bottom layers. For the infill, I typically set it between 8% to 15% on smaller models. I'll show you the difference at 8% infill, and you'll notice more spacing between the pattern, which saves filament. And at 15% infill, the structure is stronger, but uses more filament. And for this model, I'll set it to 10%. I also prefer the crosshatch pattern for the infill type. Now let's talk about the print speed. This will depend on the printer and filament that you're using. I'm using a Bamboo Lab printer, which can handle speeds up to 500 millimeters per second but you can look up the recommended speed for your specific printer online. For supports, as I mentioned earlier, I prefer to avoid supports because they can be a pain to remove. So for now, I'll turn them off, and if I need them later, I'll just adjust the settings.
Next up, adhesion settings. A good adhesion method is important, especially for smaller parts to help the first layer print smoothly. And I'll use a bare metal adhesion with a 0.1 to 0.2 millimeter spacing for easy removal. And I'll set the bare metal width to 5 millimeter. And one last thing, make sure your model isn't too small or it might not print correctly. Tiny pieces can easily break off or fail to print entirely. For number 7, test prints. It's optional but not recommended. Make sure you run a test print. It's optional but highly recommended as you can see here. The test print isn't fully completed but it gives a good idea of how the final body will look. And the reason for doing a test print is that your model won't always turn out perfect on the first try. It's better to spot and fix the issue early on than encounter them after the full print. Hatching problems at the start will save you both time and filament, and it's much easier to make adjustments before committing to a longer print. Just before ending the video, I just want to remind you guys to check the dryness of your filament. Moist filament can affect print quality. Also, make sure to properly clean the print bed with either Dawn soap or 99% alcohol using a microfiber cloth for the best adhesion. After starting your print, monitor the first layer carefully to catch any issues early. This will help avoid failures and prevent your 3D printer from breaking down mid-print. That's it for the video. If you're interested in the model I'm holding right now, it's available through my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay notified about future videos. If you have any tutorials, suggestions, drop them in the comments.